my name is Porter Rockwell. Orrin Porter Rockwell is the name my mama gave me, but I never liked Orrin much, so Porter Rockwell is the name. Friends call me Port. There's been a lot of speculation as to why they call me Port. Some people think it's because I weigh a little bit more than the average man. I do like to eat. Uh, some people think it's because of that wine that's made over in those caves on the Douro River in Porto, Portugal. But that ain't the reason either. Uh, my name's Port because it's short for Porter. And them boys in the Nashville Tribute Band made a nice tribute to me, a song called Modern Day Sam. Modern Day Samson, you know, like Samson from the Old Testament. And a lot of people wonder why uh, I was called Modern Day Samson. On Christmas Day in 1943, I'd just gotten out of prison after nine months in a prison. I can neither confirm nor deny whether I was guilty of what I was put into prison for, but I got out of prison. And I came walking into Nauvoo, and uh, my hair had grown very long in the back and in the front. And uh, I walked into this Christmas party that was happening at the mansion home. Emma had the house looking beautiful, but nobody recognized me because my hair was a little gangly. And uh, one person did recognize me. It was the prophet Joseph Smith, and he came walking across that floor and gave me a big hug, and then everybody knew it was, it was me. And uh, later that night, Joseph gave me a blessing, and uh, he said, Port, as long as you don't cut your hair like Samson of old, your enemies will not be able to take your life. Well, I grew my hair and left it grown. There's been a lot of stories about me. I can neither confirm nor deny whether there's truth to any of them. But, uh, you know, people forget that we were at war. They forget that Lilburn William Boggs, the governor of the state of Missouri, issued the only extermination order on a people in the history of the United States of America. Meaning if the Mormons didn't get out of the state of Missouri by a certain time in 1838, that it was legal to exterminate them by any means. Them's fighting words. Those are rough times, and I'm just a believer that people should be able to worship and be free to believe the things they want to the way they want to. That is America. And there's been people said I made an assassination attempt on Lily Willie Boggs. Uh, it twarn't me. As Brigham Young said, if it was Porter, it wouldn't have been an assassination attempt. Well, the history books say that I carried this here uh, 1851 Colt. And that may have been true, but that ain't true anymore. I now carry an XDM 9mm, 16 in the clip, and one in the chamber, baby. You know I'm not a bad guy, I really don't think that I ever was. People sensationalize gunfighters. People sensationalize killing. You know these video games kids play today, they don't show it like it is. I wouldn't suggest that it's not a pretty thing to see the life extinguished out of a man's face when your finger did the pulling on the trigger. But it's also not a pretty thing to see families driven into the cold nights and starving, freezing to death to see women and young ladies brutalized, to see the work of the Lord thwarted because of the conspiring minds of evil men. I was just the reckoning of the time, I guess, and I won't apologize for that. So I thought I'd just run through this song that the Nashville Tribute Band does called Modern Day Samson. I won't sing it quite as well as Tim Gates or, uh, well, I sing it. Actually, people say I sound a lot like Jason Deere, so, uh, ah, here we go. Maybe a little commentary will accompany. Strapped to his saddle Two dragons inside his vest Those are pistols if you don't know His long black hair blew through midnight air Fighting revenge inside his chest That's right Well he's seen the houses burn down to ashes Yeah I did Seen those you love lose that most dear The saints that cried someone to save our lives But not the black angel of here Hey now put I got an eye like an ego sworn To see the life of the prophet of the lamb Any men of nine under six feet of ground Five from the smoking gun modern day stand Smoking your modern day sand. Well, the, the, the saints moved on as the fire grew strong. 
But some would never let them rest Crystal eyes move through shadow nights As he took the devil's last breath Hey, it's Jason Deere with the Nashville Tribute Band, and I want to thank Porter personally for coming in this morning and hanging out with us here uh, in our offices in Nashville. He hangs around here sometimes, and we love it when he does. Hey, if you like that song, Modern Day Samson, you can get it on iTunes. Uh, you can also go to nashvilletribute.com, our website, and you can get it there. It's off the Joseph and Nashville Tribute to the Prophet album. You guys have a great day. Hey,